Haven't you always wanted to make an impact grenade out of a water bottle? Well, now you can. Today, which is actually the exact same day from our last video on TJ How To's, we will be making an impact grenade out of a water bottle. It's gonna be great. Yep. And the things you will need for this impact grenade is this stuff we don't even have here. Oh, you will need Joe Van Musk for men. Yeah, no. Well, we should have been a bit more prepared, so we'll be back with the stuff you will need for your own impact grenade. Okay, so we're back with the stuff you need for your impact grenade. And that is, you will need baking soda, just like that. No sponsors? Nope, I made sure I covered it, we're good. Vinegar? Yep. Uh, I don't think it matters which vinegar. White vinegar. No, white, yeah. uh, white vinegar, we're using white vinegar. Yeah, we're so. using white vinegar. And you will need scissors. Also, a plastic bag. Not the whole plastic bag, you'll find out soon. Yeah. And, of course, piece la resistance. What? A water bottle. What? Uh, I heard it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, piece de la resistance. We're back with the steps. Actually, you want to just do the steps now? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Do it. Yeah, who needs another uh, cut off? Okay, so, you'll start off with your uh, water bottle. And we're, we're not going to do the first person view this time. No. Just going to... Do it like we did before. Yeah. And actually, we don't need the water bottle yet. Just throw it off to the side. What you want to do All right. is, uh... Well, you get your plastic bag. Yep. See the scissors? You can grab your scissors. And you just cut the corner off the plastic bag. Yep. Like that. Make sure it's like a little pocket. Maybe a bit bigger than that. No, that's good. You sure? Yeah, it's good. Okay. I just need a little bit of baking soda. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so yeah, just a small corner. I'll show them the corner. About that big. Compare it to my hand. Yep. Let's see it. So not too big. You don't need, uh, this is really all you have left of the plastic bag. Is if you want to make another one, you should use this corner too. Yeah. And you need, you need the corner. And then you grab yeah. your baking soda. Which then you put in the little corner you just have, like you just cut off. Okay, so can you hold it open? Yeah. This be a bit weird. Uh, hold. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh my god, the mess. Oh, done. <laughs> Here, I'll show you what mess we just made. Or I will. Justin, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that great? Okay. We'll do what we did. Okay, so you should end with maybe we'll might as well just schlong it out there, you know? Schlong it out there. <laughs> How did baking soda manage to get over here? There's so then the you will end the something like that. Just like with the corner full of baking soda. And yeah. if you need more, you can just take something off the table. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You need okay. the water bottle too. Pass the water yeah. bottle over. Yep. Now this is when you bring in your water bottle. <laughs> right on top of the baking soda. Nice. It doesn't matter if it's like it has a little bit drips of water in it. It doesn't matter at all. No. no. You grab your vinegar. Yeah, you your vinegar. I don't want to make a mess of this on and the table with that. Yeah. So you want to and then just pour. Like, it up to about right, maybe there. With, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah right, right there. about there with vinegar. Oh, actually, maybe a bit less. If you maybe have one of less. these water bottles, it's about uh, maybe the third line, or sorry, the second line up here. Yeah. Right, right about there. You only need a bit because you just. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need too much vinegar or baking soda, really. The reaction's real strong. I don't want to make a mess with this. Tell me when to stop. Okay, you're good. Just, just you're good. Oh, a bit more, but whatever, it's it's good. Okay. So you will oh. have about that. 
Maybe you could put a bit less than that. We kind of went over the, uh, the margin. He's so. terrible. Uh, you want to get a bit more baking soda off of here and put no, it in there? No, I think because we need to have room for it to like in the corner. Okay, so now you grab your baggie that you have vine uh, vinegar soda. Vinegar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. What's the baking soda? That's it. Did you just take the literacy test? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you put it just inside your uh, water bottle like this. Don't let it drop and, down. Yeah. Have the part of the corner hanging out. Yep. So you can take away your fingers. Yeah, right, I'll zoom it in for you guys. So have a bit of the corner flopping out right there so then you know it's not going to fall in there. You just tie it. Or tie it. You, you... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't even know if you guys can hear that. It's like squealing. <laughs> sure. Maybe we'll tighten that up maybe a bit more. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It was squealing. Okay. Let's just hope you can. That'd be real uh, awkward. Us. It's like just listening to nothing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's basically it. That's all. That's what you'll get. You have a little corner sticking out, so then you can uh, twist the cap down onto it, so then the baking soda won't fall into the vinegar. And uh, we'll get to a test outside. We'll go outside and test this out. Oh, yeah, outside. Maybe we should clean that up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, clean up. Yeah. Okay. So we'll be back with the uh, test of our impact grenade. Okay. So we're outside right now. In uh, beautiful Ontario, Canada. Yep. And uh, we can't do this be... inside because it's gonna be a huge mess. Yeah. Because uh, you have to hit it off something real hard and it explodes everywhere so you can throw stuff in this as like if you want to you can throw like airsoft bb's yeah some little stones or something in it i don't know something and uh it will work just as well yeah and uh so i guess uh, i'll show you what you're supposed to do here without actually doing it because then the reaction will start uh -huh. so you have your bottle what you want to do is when you open it it will fall into the uh, vinegar you want to immediately start closing it, but not too hard. You don't want to close it as tight as it can go or it won't uh, explode properly. Mm -hmm. So you just want to tighten it just so the air is locked in. Uh, the reason we haven't been outside for a while, well, I haven't gone outside in one of our videos is because it was kind of crap out. Yeah. This is like snowing. the best weather we've, we've gotten in a long forever. Time. Yeah. So yeah, we'll just get to the test here pretty quick. We're going to be throwing at the thing uh, right behind the camera. And uh, yeah, we'll get to it. We got our water bottle. We're going to uh, just open it, let the uh, baking soda fall in, close it not too hard, make sure uh, the air is still locked though, and then you're going to grab onto it like this, and then throw it at the uh, hard surface. Try to make sure that the cap hits the hard surface first. Like, we didn't mention this or did we? I, I can't remember, but it has to hit a hard surface in order to work. Yeah. And we have a bunch of mud and grass around here, so it's we not decided to use this thing. Okay, so make sure, try to get the cap to hit the surface. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to back up. I'm on a bunch of pieces of wood, so... <laughs> That's what, yeah, you can see. Okay, so here we go. I'm just letting the vinegar go in. I mean the baking soda, sorry. Do it as hard as you can. Okay, close it. Shake it up a smidge if you have to. There we go, it's starting to go. Is it as hard as the rock? Nope, not yet. Make sure it goes as hard as the rock. Oh, it's getting there. I think we could put quite a little bit of baking soda in. Yeah, no, that's what I said. We should have got a bit more. Try to get as much baking soda as you can. Not, not hard as a rock yet. Just let it do its stuff. I'll probably be able to show you right now. See, it's almost hard as rock. Okay. One more, one or two more shakes. The camera's waterproof, right? Um, not the back right now. Okay, only the front would be good. Okay, here we go. Three, 
two, one. Well, that kind of exploded. Yep. We may give you guys another test. Yep, we'll give you guys a another test. A larger amount of baking soda. Nice. So here's the water bottle. It only came out through the cap because we didn't have enough uh, baking soda. So we'll uh, give you one more test with a lot more baking soda. Okay, uh, so this time we put a lot more baking soda in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Wipe that off. I don't know if you can, but we put a lot more in. We just cut off a bigger corner and, of the bag. And we put a bit more vinegar in too. Yeah, we put a bit more vinegar in. So now this time it should uh, hopefully rupture the entire bottle. So uh, we'll uh, see. So we'll just, we'll just twist this camera. So as it's loud. No, I actually shouldn't be. Okay. Okay. How's that look on the thing? You see? It's good. Okay. So this time, just do the same thing with your bottle. You just open it, let the baking soda fall in, close it not too tight, and whip the cap of the water bottle at well, the hard whip surface. Whip it cap first. Cap first. Here we go. Dropping the baking soda in. This time it'll go a lot faster. Covered. Oh, I see it. It's like he's running. Oh yeah, this is way better, not gonna lie. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh man, it's too hard. Watch out, Kyle, it might explode. Yeah, I know. <laughs> is the microphone on the camera or is it on his phone? It's on the camera. Three. Two, one. Holy. Oh. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that one exploded. Yeah, the first time it was too hard, so it wouldn't even okay. budge. Now, the cat, the bottle went up there. Yeah. It's on top there. Let me see if I can climb up. It's better to climb I don't know up. if you guys can see it. Maybe. Might be able to, I don't know, it's really dirty up there. Yeah. Okay, so that was, well, let's get back to the desk. That was way better than the last one. Okay, so uh, that worked, the second one worked a lot better than the first one. The first one we just didn't have enough baking soda or vinegar and we tried conserving it too much. Yeah, that, uh, pretty big explosion. I wish you guys could see that in our eyes. Yeah. And it actually flew up, what would you say, about 20, 25 feet up in the air. Something like that, yeah. And then landed on top of the storage unit. Hopefully you guys could see it. It was near the back, if you guys want to go back, because you couldn't see it. But, uh, man, that worked pretty well the second time. The first time we, it only went through the cap and we stuff. Just watched the, we just watched the, the preview of that video, and you could hear it. Yeah. Hit the top of the... Which you guys will find out. Yeah. You know, as you already did actually find out. Man, that was pretty cool, but yeah, that was our video on how to make a uh, homemade impact grenade. So, Justin, take us out. We are TJ How To's, and we're out. It's not even going to come close to that. Okay, if we continue this, we'll probably make them shorter. Yeah, we'll know why. This is a design that I have made before, but not with these exact parts.